How's it going guys? Matt and Jackson here with the Toasty Rose and today we're going to be doing a $400 budget APU build. Let's get right into it, shall we? This video is brought to you by Catalyst Mints and their new energy powder drink mixes. Choose between Blue Raspberry Typhoon and Watermelon Hail to get a powerful blend of energy complexes, including their signature Siberian Elythra root. They also have shaker cups with added compartments to carry your Catalyst Mints and a extra serving of powder for you. Check the link down below to get some today. All right, guys, so what we have here is the Ryzen 3 2200G. Now, this is a quad-core processor based on the Ryzen 3 architecture, but it has onboard Vega graphics. Now, these have been out for a little while, and a lot of reviews have hit the market, but we haven't had a chance to test it, and what we wanted to do is put together a $400 budget build featuring this processor. So let's just get right into the rest of the stuff here. So what we have is an AB350M motherboard, which is B350, which is a step up from the A320 motherboard that we used in our last budget build, mainly because it can overclock this thing much better, and we do have a cool cooler from a company that we're gonna show off that could actually help us do that. This motherboard is micro ATX, so it is gonna fit nice and snug inside the case that we have here, which we'll get into in just a second, but it should do the job for the build. Now as for RAM, this is just temporary placeholder RAM. The RAM that we ordered, which was two eight gigabyte sticks of 2666 megahertz RAM is gonna be here later. So when the benchmarks happen, you'll see that secondary kit in there, not this stuff. Sandwich bag. Sandwich bag, it's a sandwich bag It's RAM. an anti-static bag though, don't worry guys. Yeah, it's okay, we're fine. What we have right here is the power supply, which is an EVJ 500 watt power supply, which basically staple power supply for all the builds we've done on the channel and most budget builds. It's really affordable, really reliable, and does the job. As for storage, your typical one terabyte hard drive in this box. Trust me, it's in there. And then right here, we have the case, which is a good old DIY PC, and we already embarked on opening it by just, you know, going right, okay. But um, we have the Vision BG DIY PC, and it is a green LED case, mainly because we're gonna be using this cooler with it from our good friends over at Arctic. This is their Freezer 33 Sport 1 cooler, and it is green, and it will match this build really nicely. This is an optional addition because the 2200G does come with a cooler, but we wanted to show off this company's nice cooler design and use it in this build, and it will add a little bit extra cost to the $400 budget. So. How about we just get right into it, shall we?
itself was absolutely awesome. DIY PC, sponsor us. <laughs> and of course you can get it in different colors. We've actually have one or two other builds where we've used that same case but in different colors. If you wanna go check those out. And thank you for Arctic Cooling for sending us that really awesome green cooler that matched the case perfectly. And I'm very impressed with this build so far. So if you're interested in any of the parts for this build, link in the description down below to Amazon and Newegg. We'll have both lists down there for you all. And if you haven't already, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, follow us over on Twitter, and join our Discord community. Hope to see you on the next build, guys. Peace out.